We're with Chris Siegfried, and you are the commissioner of the National Arena League. First of all, it's a pleasure to see you. Nice to see I, you, too. You were telling me earlier, this is your third year. You're kind of like in an expansion, and you got some really great plans going. First of all, how many teams do we have in the league? Right now we have six teams ranging from Massachusetts and New York City down to Greensboro, Carolina, Columbus, Georgia, Jacksonville, of course, the, 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 the Sharks, the big rivals of the Predators, and of course Orlando. Okay. Now, question. I just found this out. You had something to do with them a long time ago. Yeah, I rode the bench for the Predators back in 1992. That was my rookie season. I uh, signed, played for Perry Moss. Uh, ben Bennett was a quarterback, and Perky Walls, Perry Wagner, all the greats of Orlando back in the day. It was a very, very exciting time back then, back in the old O arena. Uh, of course, I never got to see the field because those guys in front of me were really, really good. But. Uh, All right, well, we, we had a little halftime fun, That's so all good. you were telling me a little bit about the league, and who's in first place? You know, right now, uh, so we've got the Jacksonville Sharks, big rival of the Orlando Predators. They're, they're on a roll right now. They're in first place. The Carolina Cobras, who the Predators are playing tonight, are in second place, and they're also the defending champions of our league. Now, uh, one of the fans came up to me earlier, and he asked me about standings and what th if there was other games played this weekend. So tell me what happened this weekend. So we had two games last night. The Columbus Lions hosted the Massachusetts Pirates. Massachusetts won. They're right now, they're in third place, Massachusetts is. And in the other game, the New York Streets out of New York City hosted the Jacksonville Sharks. And Jacksonville won that game as well. So in our league, we got the six teams. Four teams make the playoffs. And it's just a simple seed. The top seed host number four, second seed host number three. When did, when did the playoffs start? Playoffs start the first weekend in August. Our, our season is a 14-game schedule. It ends the last week of uh, July. Playoffs are the very next week with the top four teams making the playoffs. We have a bye week in between the semifinals and the championship game. Championship game is going to be hosted by the highest remaining seed okay. a week and a half later, the third week in August. All right. So, now I know that you have a website. National yes. Arena League? National, com? National Arena League. Dot com. Com. Okay. If they want any news on the league, they can go to you. Absolutely. So each team has their individual website. We have our league website, nationalreleague.com. We've got a lot of exciting things that we've been working on with expansion. We're hopeful for anywhere from two to four teams for the 2020 season. We, we fully, we're, we're hoping for 10 or 12, but we really expect to have at least eight or nine teams next year. You know, we're trying to solidify the East Coast and then gradually move west. Well, you and I talked a little bit about what was happening with, with the um, Predators here. Yeah. And they're an expansion team. And like you and I said, if they if they had a better record, that place would probably be packed. Absolutely. But it's again, the Orlando it's Predators. The name is historic, right? It's been around since 1991. But the reality of it is they are really an expansion team. They do have a veteran name, unbelievable arena. They've got Kenny McIntyre as a majority owner, a former Orlando Predator, great player. He's out of Kansas State. I think it's one of the top 20 players all time in arena football history, but it's still an expansion team. Now, being from Orlando, I'm a Central Florida resident. I live over in Winter Garden. I know the people here expect more of the Predators. I get it. But keep in mind, they are an expansion team on, in reality, even though on paper it's the Orlando Predators. Right. And usually your biggest growth goes from one, year one to year two. So I fully expect next year Orlando to be a playoff team, possibly even a, a championship contender. Well, I, I think you're right on here. Like you said, the first year is always the toughest year. That's when you Absolutely. have all the growing pains, not only on the field, but in the office, getting people to Absolutely. say, yeah, I'll give you some money for sponsorship and stuff like that. And I'm so proud of Kenny McIntyre for just pulling this off. It was such a tough thing for him to do. And he's doing great. He's surviving. And that's the key. He needs to survive this first year. He needs to weather the storm, learn from the mistakes, take the good and the bad, turn it around. I, I, I think year two for the Orlando Predators is going to be amazing. I really do. Well, the next game is the 5th of July, and that is, um, what is it, Armed Forces? or? I, I believe so. Okay. I know they're going to have a big turnout. For anybody that's been in the service, let me tell you, Come on down, though. I'm sure they got a special for people that are in Absolutely. the service. Absolutely. Listen, this is a great time for any fans. Win, win or lose, the Orlando Predators are going to put on a great show. And they're just going to continue to get better and grow. You know, as fans, be patient with them. They're going to get better. They're going to make their adjustments. 
they are playing against a bunch of veteran teams that have been there, done that. But again, I'm from Florida. I'm from Central Florida. You, you're really expect, right here. It's the Predators, yep. right? It's all about the Predators. And I get that part of it. But they will get better. They'll make adjustments. They're working very hard behind the scenes. They're going to be okay. And I got a little shout out to all the news stations here in town. You better get out of the bandwagon. I don't see anything out there, and I'm going to scold every one of you. And hopefully we'll get Fox 35 to do something maybe in the next week or so. Yeah, jump on board. Just because their record is not great right now and maybe they're not winning games right now does not mean the effort's not there. They're going to be there. We need the media. We need all you guys on board. we got to get people out here to the games. Well, we're going to push our hardest. And, and like I said, we might not make the playoffs this year, which I doubt unless right. it's a miracle. Well, but all, we'll be there next year. With only six teams, they are only one game <laughs> out of the playoffs. But they definitely need to get better on the field, no doubt about it. But each each week they got to get a little bit better. Yeah. But fans, don't give up on the Predators. It is the Predators. It's the heart and soul of, of Orlando. You know those Friday nights, Saturday nights, you go out to the Predators game, have yep. a good time. It's a party, right? I got. And you go down to Church Street, hang out. All the fans that are here, they love it. And hey, you might start bringing your kids here. This is a great spot for kids. And you know what? If you catch a ball in the stands. You get to keep it. Yes, but if you catch a player, you got to give the player back. I talked to a lady the other time, said she would give the football back and keep I the know. player. <laughs> you know who she is? Well, there's always exceptions to the rule, right? <laughs> you know, but uh, but bring it, it's a great atmosphere for families. Kids yep. love this game. My kids grew up on arena football. They love arena football. The fact that they can high five the players in between plays, yep. sometimes during the plays. <laughs> I mean, it's a great atmosphere. And it's, then, it's family friendly. It's and then a great after time. the game, they can go down and they sign autographs and Absolutely. say hello to everybody. Yeah, after the game, all the fans are invited onto the field to sign, you know, to get autographs from the players and the dancers. The dancers yep. are a huge part well, of this team. I'll tell you, they're really good. I mean, they're gorgeous. They do a great job. They work very hard, you know. So there's something here for everybody. Yep. Well, Chris. We got to get going, My but pleasure. I want to thank you so much. Yes, sir. I won't be here the fifth, but I'll be here for the last game, and you and I will do another interview. Absolutely. Looking uh, forward right. to it. Hey, thank go, you. go Preds. Go Predators. You got it.